Greener Scotland sponsors Too Good to Waste. Like it or not, we've become a nation of wasters. From food to fuel, cash to clothes, power to precious time. These days, if we've got it, we waste it. 18 months ago, we challenged some famous Scots to change their wasteful ways. We threw all this in the bin. I just can't believe it. I'm in shock. And taught them how to save money and time. But has it worked? And can they pass on what they've learned to friends and family? Tonight, two lovely ladies who refuse to waste an opportunity when it comes to saving cash. I'm Shireen Nanjiani and this is Scotland Today at 6.30. Shireen Nanjiani has been broadcasting for nearly 30 years. Good morning, it's nine o'clock. You're listening to Shireen with me, Shireen Nanjiani. Big smile! <laughs> And one of the most recognisable faces in Scottish fashion. Model, columnist and stylist, Julie Hanna. So try turning around just straight on for me. These girls will be finding new ways to reduce their waste. OK, so I'm basically heating my back garden. And help others save money and time. <laughs> 18 months on, what's the news, Shireen? Well, the last series kind of changed my life. <laughs> it suddenly made me realise how much food I chuck out. A terrifyingly large amount, Shireen. Up to £600 worth of food a year in the bin. What a waster. The sea. What is it, 40 trolleys for Julie and I. Really has just made me think how much money I can save myself. Good for you, Shireen. What's Julie been up to? Life has completely changed for me. A baby. House and married all in the same year. Good reasons to save even more money, no? I think when it comes to energy efficiency, the baby's obviously making it difficult um, to, to, to not spend so much. You're saying it's the baby's fault? That wee cutie. We spend a lot of money on baby food and milk. Imagine, babies need fed. Who knew? Come on, Julie, be honest. I don't like to sit around at night with jumpers and blankets on. I like it to be nice, like, tropical. <laughs> well, that won't come cheap. What's this heat costing you? I'm spending between three and £400 a month at the moment in gas and electricity. Oh! Play that again. You're spending what? Um, I'm spending between three and £400 a month. That's at... what I thought you said. 400 quid. That's money right up your chimney. I know it's a ridiculous amount to be paying, so it would be nice to, to find out ways that I can still be warm, but not have to pay all that money. That could be a handbag every month. Oh, Julie. You urgently need to start saving cash and prove you can be a money-saving mum. Dietitian Leslie Reed specialises in advising families how to feed their kids healthy, wholesome and affordable meals. As a new mum, Julie needs to learn how to avoid wasting cash on ready-made jars of baby food. So how much food have we got here? Oh, this is probably uh, if you were um, just giving the baby um, jars and packets, it would probably last you uh, about two weeks. OK. Because initially, you're, you're, a lot's going to be wasted because you're only going to use a couple of spoonfuls from it. And really, if a child was to be solely fed on packets and jars between the ages of six months and 12 months, this could cost uh, a parent around about £800. Wow! Imagine, that's nearly two handbags worth. Well... Julie's invited along some other mums looking to save some cash. Hopefully they'll find ways to keep their babies well fed without breaking the bank. What we've got here is we've got some uh, mashed carrot and apple and pears and potatoes. Just so they can get used to single taste, so they, they can then begin to combine them so you can have apple and pear and carrot and potatoes. Leslie's making mashed fruit and veg in bulk and then freezing it in ice cube trays. So you can take exactly what you need from the freezer. Just don't drop one in the GNT. All these can be frozen, so it's going to last you, you know, maybe a couple of weeks. Compared to this jar, is going to only last you um, a couple of days. For a jar, is round about seven to eight pence. To make all this, it comes in at round about sixty-three pence. Those savings are soon going to add up. Leslie's got the mums cooking up a meal of delicious orange and lentil. This recipe here is really cheap. It costs about thirty pence. Lentils are very high in iron, 
and babies at six months need iron in their diet, it's a very easy way to get iron into them. Really, the, the other thing is as well is it's reducing the waste. You can't freeze what's left over from jars. So with this, you can freeze all the leftovers. But she's not done yet. Leslie's got a chicken casserole recipe too. A pot like this would cost to make rounds about 30 pence. It's a great saving and when you think about a jar of baby food that costs 78 pence. Yes, and this will do, what, three, four meals? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Andy likes chicken casserole too, so I guess we could have our own chicken casserole and then just blend up some for baby Mia too. Yeah, and any leftovers you would just freeze. Make your way to stv.tv slash waste to see Leslie's recipes. Ooh, I think you like this. This is the coat cupboard. 18 months ago, Shireen shocked us with her ever-growing collection of coats. Just love them all. So, we helped her learn how to make a new wardrobe from her old clothes. This dress would have sat in the wardrobe doing nothing and eventually I would have given it to the charity shop. Now I've got a new dress and I will be wearing it. We've upcycled an old idea and set Shireen a new challenge. Can she do to dated furniture what she did with old clothes? Not far from Paisley is St Vincent's Hospice. Shireen is an ambassador for the charity providing care for those living with life-limiting illnesses. And Julie is a volunteer who works in the charity's second-hand shop. Now you guys sell a lot of furniture in your charity shop, don't you? We do. We, have, um, we certainly have one furniture shop and we're looking to do a wee bit more. There's a lot of stuff that en ends up getting dumped that could actually be reused, reused and, and refreshed. Reloved. <laughs> Shireen's big plan is to renovate tatty donated furniture, hopefully adding value to something that was destined for the skip. Upcycler Tracy Ecker can turn tired old pieces into something special. Oh. I think if we use a chalk-based paint, you could actually do something fabulous. And I think shabby chic, maybe just the front with some new handles. So you're convinced that even I can do this? Anyone can do this, so yes. Come on, Shireen, you can do it. After a rummage around in the storeroom, they pick a damaged table and a banged-about bedside cabinet. So it needs to dry now. Tracy's plan is to stick on bathroom mosaic tiles from the DIY store. They only cost a few pounds, but should really add value to the cabinet and table. And you've actually got a great idea for inside the drawers. We're going to line them. Scraps of wallpaper that you can pick up from your local DIY store because they always have open packets there for you to take a sample of. My mum used to do that when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect inside everything. Wardrobe doors, inside kids' drawers. It takes away from the ugly look. Mosaic ring is fantastic and it's just very therapeutic actually and great fun to do and I think best way to do it with a glass of wine. <laughs> I think it's the best way you could have a lot of fun with it. A night on the tiles in fact. Sorry. We'll see how Shireen and Julie's upcycling finishes up a little later. <laughs> Earlier, Julie revealed she was spending a staggering sum to heat her home. In this house, I have the heating on pretty much all the time and there's no point in letting it cool down because it takes a while to, for it to heat up again. So I tend to just leave it on all the time. But there's only so many handbags you can throw on the fire before you need to call for help. So step forward our old friend Ewan Donaldson and his super high-tech thermal imaging camera. Our former model is used to looking hot, but Ewan shows Julie that all her warmth is flying out the door. What this is, this is an infrared camera, and this allows us to see temperature uh, okay. in, in the varying of colour. So the hot colours are red and white, and the cool colours are blue, black and purple. So okay. we can see drafts and heat loss, etc. So if you want to turn around, the cooler colours, towards the bottom of your door. Okay. Up the sides here, it's like the cooler colours coming in here. All up to the top. So it's basically around the bottom of the door and the, and the sides? Exactly. Uh, okay, so I'm basically heating my back garden. You're heating the back garden, next door's back garden, the garage, all the little beasties and creepy crawlies, <laughs> they're all getting heat off you as well, so yeah. Okay. And who wants to pay to heat their neighbour's garden? The news is just as bad when Ewan points his camera at Julie's windows. Okay, Julie, so just have a look at this window over here. We'll mm -hmm. look at them again. See all the blue mm -hmm. colours? Along the bottom. Yeah, exactly the same as the door right along the bottom yep. there. 
sash window, single glaze, which are typically very, very inefficient at holding heat, so it will have a, a big effect. An investment in DIY gap sealing products could save the average household up to 50 quid a year. Now we're looking at the fireplace. Um, when we got here earlier on, the fire was actually lit. It's not lit now. And it's still red. And it's still, still radiating some heat. I've just moved the camera up slightly of the fireplace. You can see the line of the chimney inside the walls. And that's just basically heat escaping right through the chimney. A case of bad flu. Later, Julie finds out how to start saving money rather than wasting it. We can get this down for you. Okay. We can make a big difference to your bills. And Shireen gets her hands on a tasty bow. Do you think you need a spatchcock? Greener Scotland sponsors Too Good To Waste. Greener Scotland sponsors Too Good To Waste. Welcome back to Too Good To Waste, the show that's all about the saving and not about the wasting. Tonight, journalist and broadcaster Shireen Nanjiani and fashion stylist and writer Julie Hanna are on a mission to reduce their wasteful ways and pass on their newfound knowledge to friends. As a nation, we throw away 14,000 tonnes of prepared meals every year. We've set Shireen a challenge to prepare meals for a whole week without wasting one single ingredient, and she's roped in a friend. Trish is my pal from the gym. She lives on her own. She never cooks for herself because it's too much hassle just for one person and it takes too much time. And I'm kind of in a similar boat now because the kids are away from home and it's just the two of us. So I don't bother as much and it'd be good for both of us to just learn a quicker way uh, of making some tasty meals that we can maybe stick in the freezer and use another time. Can the pair make one set of ingredients stretched to more than one meal? Here to help them is Karina Contini, an award-winning chef and busy mum of three. I've got a confession to make. I thought a spatchcock was a tiny wee chicken. <laughs> you're OK. Everybody <laughs> thinks exactly the same thing, so you're off the hook. Spatchcock is just a way of cooking chicken, because it's basically cutting out the backbone and then squashing it down. First, the girls need to learn how to cook a chicken more cheaply. So this is a free-range chicken that we've washed. This is just over a kilo in weight. So if we were cooking at whole, it would take easily an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes to make sure it was really cooked through. It's only going to take about 40 minutes to cook if we spatchcock it. A roast in 40 minutes. Half the cooking time, half the cooking cost. And Karina's making that bird go as far as possible. Now this is going into my stock pot. Ah, right. And that's going to give me a lovely pot of stock. I'm going to turn it over. We're cutting out the backbone, and you're literally just following the bone. Oh. And then we're keeping that for our stock, so that's giving us that extra free meal that we wouldn't have got if we were just roasting off a chicken. Very smart, Karina. That's now the backbone to any number of other meals, and that's the point. Preparing and cooking meals for the days ahead will save you time and money. All we're going to do now is turn it over and squash it. OK, girls, ready to be cooks? What do you think? You ready to spatchcock? Yeah, let's give this a try. Oh, Trish is showing off. I'm blaming my scissors now. Well, it's definitely me. <laughs> Not the scissors. Now we're going to add some vegetables and some salt and pepper and season it. Add a little bit of water just to keep it nice and moist. Just going to put those round the edges, all in season. All really good at this time of year and really cheap. Got some olive oil. We're going to drizzle a little bit over the vegetables. Oh, the salt. Obviously, we don't want to use too much. And then some black pepper. Half a lemon. Just a wee squeeze. Just on the chicken, not even on the vegetables. Just tucked in. Pop it in the oven. A spatchcock chicken will cost just 20 pence to cook in that electric oven. And that's not the only saving. Karina's stock has been used to make many other meals and she's cooked dishes to show them what could be done with the leftovers too. So we have our spatchcock chicken. It looks absolutely fabulous. And the leftover vegetables that we didn't have time to cook in beside the spatchcock, we've made some lovely 
vegetable soup that we've just drizzled with a little bit of creme fraiche and some good old black pepper. Uh, this is a sort of tiny little leek and chicken pie. So we had some leeks, which are in season just now, um, fried them off with a little bit of butter, tiny little bit of the same creme fraiche that we had left over from the soup, added a little bit of the cold leftover chicken, and then just put it in between two pieces of pre-rolled puff pastry. Fantastic. Cooks within 10 minutes and 50p to make that. Here we had the leftover chicken and um, some grated raw courgette. So really healthy, really good for you, um, easy to digest, and again, under a pound for a meal with leftovers. Under a pound under for that. that. Visit stv.tv slash waste for Karina's cook once, eat twice recipes. As you can see, I have really big windows. They're huge, aren't they? I probably lose a lot of heat out of the windows and I have got these great big curtains, but do you know what? They're so beautiful that I hate to close them. Pull yourself together, Julie. You need some help. Penny Poyser is a no-nonsense waste buster. A celebrated author and journalist, she knows all about how to reduce domestic energy bills. Gas, between 313 and 397. But we can, we can get this down for you. Okay. We can make a big difference to your bills. Penny's got ideas that will save Julie a packet. Got a little gadget here. So we just pick that up. Now, this is a standard piece of kit you can buy from any DIY store cost about £20. If you were to do this to every radiator in your house, you would save between £40 and £50 pounds a year. So that's a big saving because what this foil is doing is preventing the heat from escaping through your walls. About 45% of your heat is going through there and it'll help reflect it back into the room. OK. So talk me through what happens at night. Well, if I do close the curtains, um, I tend to just pull them straight over across here, yeah, like that. Like, like, like this? Just like that? Yeah. Ah, big problem with that, because what you're doing is heating this bit and you're not heating this bit. I yeah. had a feeling it didn't make yes. a lot of sense. Yes, it doesn't work at all. What you would to do ideally is either cut them down so they just sit behind okay. there or to give them a nice firm tuck behind the radiator. OK. Well, that's easy. Great. Thick curtains are more affordable than installing double glazing and a thermal lining can be sewn into existing curtains to save around £100 a year. But drying them at night would be a good start for Julie. Then all that lovely heat will stay in the room. Right, Penny? Lovely open fire, useless for heating. I'm going to show you what happens with this clever little gadget. All oh, right, OK, this is the smoke's going up the chimney. Right up the chimney. And what's happening there is that the chimney is drawing 500 litres of fresh air an hour out of your room. And even when the fire's off, it's still taking air out of the Absolutely. room. Absolutely. It's, it's such a major source of heat loss. But the good news is there's a handy little gadget you can use, this little thing. It's a, it's a chimney balloon. Right, let's push that up in there. And now we're just going to inflate it. Once the chimney balloon's inflated, it'll stay in place and plug the gap in any fireplace. Now, that makes a pretty good seal. It's not complete because you need ventilation. Okay. Costs about 20 quid, but it's going to save you £15 a year. And if I want to light the fire again, do I have to take it out? Yes, you do. Just take it out. But if you do forget, it'll just frazzle up and fall down, so there okay. isn't a fire risk. OK. Next up, Julie's pipes. I'm just going to show you this very, very simple bit of lagging. This is, this is an insulating pipe. You can get it in different thicknesses for different sorts of pipes. It's got a slit on it. You wodge it on. And there you go. It's easy. I love that I can do all this myself. I yes. Don't have to get anyone in to do well, it. Well, exactly. Me. It's a really simple thing to do, and that's going to massively improve how much hot water you use. Because obviously, you're not losing the heat to the air. You keep your water in the tank, so you're not putting the gas boiler on so often to keep that water hot. If Julie follows Penny's advice, she could save around a thousand pounds a year. Now that's what I call a grand slam. She could save even more if the thermostat went from tropical to just nice and toasty. Visit svv.tv slash waste to find some top tips on how you can reduce your household bills too. Earlier, we challenged Shireen to give new life to some old furniture. She decided to rope in her friends at a local charity and together they plan to sell the upcycled works of art in the charity's shop window. 
Today's the moment of truth. Will upcycler Tracy be impressed with Shireen and Julie's hard work? How was it for you? I've seen the pieces. It, well, I was quite pleased. I mean, it, it took it took a while and I had a bit of help and it actually looked really good. What about you? Good fun, yeah, slapping the paint on. It looked really, really good. I tell you, it's opened my eyes to what you can do yourself because I am not artistic. I mean, remember I said to you, mm. I've just never done this before. And actually, I'm now sort of eyeing up wee tables in the house thinking maybe I could do something with that. Come on then, Tracy, get on with the big unveiling. Scotland wants to see this upcycled furniture. Ah, that looks terrific. What a surprise. Look at your table, £150. £45 for my little cabinet. I thought you were doing mosaics down the sides. Well, we, we, had, we probably could have got more money if I'd managed to get that mosaic to work down the side. We've got wallpaper instead. But it still looks pretty it looks good. fabulous. What would that have mm. sold for before? The cabinet would have sold for £15, maybe. Stop well it. done, Tracy. Even Tracy's pleased. Well done, ladies. 18 months ago, they were all wasters. What is Stephen Purden? He's a... Waster! I'm spending between three and four hundred pounds a month at the moment in gas and electricity. They could run 30 shows with every light like in the house on. That's what we're using. That's what we're using. I mean, that's scary. Actually, guys, I'm ashamed. I thought that I was throwing away just a bit every week, but to see, what is it, 40 trolleys for Julia and I. I'm in shock. But they've changed and have hammered home the benefits to friends and family. Turn that down a couple of notches, you're hemorrhaging money. As soon as it gets to two and a half thousand revs, uh -huh. shift it up a gear. Here's your bonus ball, you'll save 65 quid a year. You're joking. I'm not joking. Like I say, you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Our celebrities rose to the challenge and saved thousands of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you could too. Visit stv.tv slash waste for information <laughs> and some great top tips from the expert. That was brilliant. Greener Scotland sponsors Too Good To Waste.